this is Dalia again. I'm reading The Vampire Diaries The Awakening. I'm on chapter 15, part 1. As soon as he left Elena at her house, Stefan went into the woods. He took Old Creek Road, driving under the sullen clouds through which no paths of sky could be seen, to the place where he had parked on the first day of school. Leaving the car, leaving the car he tried to retrace his steps exactly to the clearing where he had seen the crow. His hunter's instincts helped him, recalling the shape of his bush and that knotted root, until he stood in the open place ringed with ancient oak trees. Here, under the blanket of dingy brown leaves, some of the rabbit's bones might even remain. Taking a long breath to steel himself to gather his powers, he cast out a probing, demanding thought. And for the first time he'd gone, come to Fell's church, he felt the flicker of a reply. But it seemed faint and wavering. He could not locate in, it, in spe, in it, it in space. He sighed, turned around, and stopped dead. Damon stood before him, arms crossed over his chest. Lounging against the largest oak tree, he looked. He looked as if he might have been there for hours. So, said Stefan heavily, it is true. It's been a long time, brother. Not as long as you think, brother. Stefan remembered that voice, that velvety, ironical voice. I've kept track of you over the years, Damon said calmly. He flicked a bit of bark from the sleeve of his leather jacket, casually as he had once arranged his cuffs. But then you wouldn't know that, would you? Oh, no, your powers are as weak as ever. Be careful, Damon, Stefan said softly, dangerously. Be very careful. Mine. I'm not in a tolerant mood. Stefan, imagine you're distressed. I suppose because of my because of my little exertions into your territory. I only did it because I want to be close to you. Brother should be close. You killed tonight and you tried to make me think I'd done it. Are you quite sure you didn't? Perhaps we did it together. Careful, he said as Stefan stepped toward him. My mood is not the most tolerant tonight, either. I only had a wise and little history teacher. You had a pretty girl. The fury inside Stefan, cold aside, seeming to focus in one bright burning spot like a sun inside him. Keep away from Elena, he whispered with such menace that Damon actually tilted his head back slightly. Keep away from her, Damon. I know you've been spying on her, watching her, but no more. Go near her again and you'll regret it. You always were selfish, your one fault. Not willing to share anything, are you? Suddenly, Damon's lips curved in a singular, singularly beautiful smile. But fortunately, the lovely Elena is more generous. Didn't she tell you about our little liaisons? Why, the first time we met, she almost gave herself to me on the spot. That's a lie. Oh no, dear brother. I never lie about anything important. Or do I mean unimportant? Anyway... Your damsel nearly swooned into my arms. I think she likes men in black. As Stefan stared at him, trying to control his breathing, Damon added almost gently, You're wrong about her, you know. You think she's sweet and docile like Catherine? She isn't. She's not your type at all, my saintly brother. She has a spirit and a fire in her that you wouldn't know what to do with. And you would, I suppose? Damon uncrossed his arms and slowly smiled again. Oh, yes. And...
and I will continue to part two.